Hey everybody, this is Troy from TR Tech Tactical and Survival. I'd like to share something with you today that some of you might not think about. What we have here is some 91% uh, rubbing alcohol and some paper towels. And some packages I bought today. Uh, I didn't really like to be out and about in this time uh, with what's going on out there in the world but for our store I absolutely had to go buy some uh, materials I had no choice and Amazon is taking 30 days to deliver and we need stuff now because we have an online grocery store and we're shipping products more than ever before so what I want to show you is the importance and the way to uh, sterilize your your groceries or whatever you buy before you take them into the house I think it's very important you know people are thinking about wearing gloves and gas masks and all kinds of things to protect themselves when they're out there but then when they get home they bring the stuff right on in the house and contaminate their house so what we've got here is a few items that I bought now I'm touching it of course I touched it when I went shopping but I had to buy these things for our store. I had no choice. Now, before this goes in the house, um, notice I had to itch my eye. I used my arm. I don't touch your face if you're handling this stuff. Before this goes in the house, we're going to clean it. Okay, every surface of it. And we keep this in the car. This is all we need. You can use uh, baby wipes as well. But there's no need to have to buy the hand sanitizer or disinfecting wipes. The 91% alcohol you can get at the dollar store should still be in stock. And paper towels or baby wipes. And I'm just going to put some on there. Okay, wet that up. And then I'm going to sanitize my, pro my packages. Basically you want to get every surface area of your package wiped down. Now, of course, I'm getting it on my hands, too, the uh, alcohol, as I go. And wipe down everything you've got, and you're sterilizing your packages before you take them in to your home so you don't contaminate your house. Okay? Everything you've got, you want to do that with before you take it in. Because I see so many people being so careful out there when they're out and about, but they're not being as careful when they get home with the stuff. Wipe down every single surface of your stuff. The 91% alcohol is going to do the job for you. It's going to kill everything. All right? Now, these are safe to go inside. Okay, now I have a package that came in the mail today and I need to clean that as well before I take it in the house. I left it outdoors the whole day. I did not take it in the house. I refuse to contaminate our inside of our home. Now alcohol evaporates fast so add a little bit from time to time to your rag or use new rags. But make sure you get every single surface of this. You don't know who handled this stuff. You don't know where it's been. You, you don't know... <laughs> that's funny. You just don't know anything about this. So you definitely want to sanitize that. And then when I go in, I'm going to do the same thing with my hands. Because I have touched this, obviously. And then my clothes are for outdoors only anyway. I mean, it's impossible to be absolutely 100% perfect, but you can, you can do your best to try to keep your family safe by using this technique to sanitize and sterilize everything before you take it into the house. Make sure you keep it clean, guys. Make sure it's safe. And, and don't forget, when you bring groceries home, the uh, clean the packages off with this method. Clean the outside of all your packages of all your groceries. When you bring home fruits make, and vegetables, make sure you wash them with some soap and water. Um, 
plain old normal clean unperfumed soap. The pure lye and oil soap that I make on my main channel and is all I've used for I don't remember how many years I've, that's all I've used is the absolute best for such things you can clean your apples and your bananas and everything you got anything that was exposed if it came in a bag clean the bag if it was individual clean them individually with soap and water plain old lye water soap no perfumes no additives no junk if you don't have any I'll show you in a future video on, on whichever channel I'm not sure but I'll let you know absolutely whichever one I'll do it I'll let you know on the other we're gonna do some more soap here pretty soon so I'm gonna go in now take these that are now sanitized into the house and then wash my hands with homemade soap and water and then we're done now I can open these and I can check them out also though don't forget once you open that depending on where that came from you're gonna want to clean what's inside as well so keep that in mind just because you've cleaned the outside doesn't mean what's inside is safe because you don't know who handled it where it came from and what might be on it so safety first guys the bag is gonna take my garbage and it's gonna go in the garbage I'm not gonna play games with that I, I handled the outside but the clerk did touch the handles and the stuff that I had was on the inside get rid of it and then go wash your hands I'll see you inside there's my homemade soap. It was in the shower, so it's a little slimy. Don't touch your handle of your sink as much. Handle that as little as you can. What people don't think about when they're inside is they just paw all over the sink with their hands that are possibly contaminated. And then they go and they shut it off. And then that's now contaminated, and you don't think about that. Also, when you're in uh, public uh, bathrooms, something very important to consider is that could all be quite contaminated. So go ahead and take a piece of paper towel, turn on your faucet, throw away your towel, wash your hands with soap and water carefully and thoroughly, shut that off with a paper towel, throw that away and dry your hands properly I wouldn't leave that running while you're drying your hands you're wasting water but when you're in a public restroom you definitely don't want to touch anything on here I prefer the paper towels when I'm in a in a public bathroom look at that that's homemade soap do you see those suds that is beautiful guys beautiful I prefer the uh, automated dispensers for the soap notice I get my hands thoroughly get everything thoroughly every finger get in between the fingers make sure you're sanitizing get your wrist a little get it all good make sure you're thorough but I prefer the automatic soap dispensers that are have sensors on them and I prefer paper towels that you can just get without touching anything when I'm at the public restrooms. Um, the next best thing is the hand dryer, but I prefer the paper towels because then I can really wipe and rub my hands and get any possible residue off that you might have. Although if you did a good job washing your hands, that's fine, but um, I just prefer paper, paper towels when I can. But <clears throat> the less you touch in a public bathroom, the better off and safer you're going to be. So keep that in mind. The hand pumps like this in a public bathroom, stay away from it. It might even be wise to carry your own soap bar in, in that case, or find a different bathroom. But uh, you don't want to be pressing that stuff because people have already been touching that stuff. You don't know what's on that in a public bathroom. You don't know what's on here or anywhere in the public bathroom. So keep that in mind. Stay safe. Stay clean. And I hope this helps somebody out there. Hope it uh, gets somebody's thoughts going. And thanks for watching. This is Troy from TR Tech Tactical and Survival. Please like, subscribe, and share. And follow my videos. I have a series of daily videos going on right now about our situation 
uh, stuck at the homestead during the next three weeks. We're not allowed to leave. So every day I do a video. Also, I'm doing unique videos like this on different things, survival foods, different techniques for staying safe and clean. So check it out, guys, and follow along. Thanks for watching.